looks like I don't have a shirt on. I promise you I do. It just keeps like slipping down just a little bit. So please don't think that I'm just sitting here topless. Hello and welcome back everyone. This is the Pom Pom Sisters YouTube channel and my name is Shantae. I am the mother of the three beautiful Pom Pom Sisters and today I am back to talk about my passion twist that I recently installed myself using the rubber band crochet method. I've had them in going on two weeks now and I predicted that I would keep them for about three. So I have one more week to go um, and so far like they've done everything that I've expected them to do. I have had minimum problems with having the twist installed. I, I'm here today because some people did want to know how I was going to upkeep them and take care of them and make sure that they would last for three weeks because the longevity that most people give the passion twist is about two weeks before the hair is like really matted and tangled and just unbearable to deal with anymore but so far I haven't had any major issues with this hair I use the model model water wave crochet hair to install my passion twist and I will link the video of how I installed my passion twist just in case you missed out on how I did it but um very very simple to install um, it was my first time installing them so it did take me a while to complete them but after completing them I was absolutely in love with them. So for my daily regimen I've been using the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Silicone Free Lightweight Shine Mist. I didn't want a really really heavy oil because I ended up getting a lot of gunk and build up on my scalp so I did want something lightweight that I knew I wanted to apply at least daily or every other day and I've been applying it daily mainly because every time I get braids or some kind of synthetic hair my scalp it just like crazy so I've been using this and it has been doing wonders for me and I spray it on at night before I wrap up my hair to go to bed um, I've also been using the Suave Max Hole Harmonizing Mousse it is a mousse that I apply to my ends to try to keep that frizz down. I've I just recently also put, applied it to my roots because my roots get really, really frizzy. Um, but my roots have grown out significantly um, and I do have gel build up, build up around my edges, which is always expected whenever I wear braids. So that wasn't anything unusual for me. But for the most part, they've been holding up well. I think I will be able to make it to the third week. I'll probably be doing mostly ponytails and buns by that third week because they are starting to frizz and tangle slightly. But I've just been going in with my scissors for the hairs that like long hairs that have came out. I'll just snip those off. I haven't trimmed or anything. Like, you know, sometimes your hair does come out of the braid. I have not trimmed my hair. Um, so my natural hair is starting to show through the twist, but it doesn't bother me at all. But I've been styling it in different ways. I wear it down a lot. I put it up in a bun at night and I just put a bonnet over top of it. A regular silk bonnet is what I wear at night for uh, my keep up and that has been doing just fine for me um, since my edges are starting to grow out more and get a little gunky I'm trying to avoid putting gel on them every day so I also go in with a silk wrap just for my edges and put the bonnet on top just to try to preserve my edges just a little bit longer for the next week so now that we're entering in the third week I'll be more cautious on what I'm applying to my hair because again I I do not like having build up. I try to keep my hair as clean as possible that I you know because you're gonna have regular build up from just dust and debris from going outside and sleeping and all that so I try to keep adding products to a minimum a very 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 low minimum when it comes to preserving my braids but the back ones are probably the most frizzy and that's because of course they rub up against my back of my clothes or the car so the back ones are probably a lot more frizzier than my front ones my front ones are doing just fine and since I can kind of cover up the back without it being too much of a problem it doesn't bother me at all I will still continue to update everyone throughout the week on my Instagram on how my uh, passion twists are doing make sure that you follow our Instagram at pompon underscore sisters for our Instagram to 
see any more photos or styles that I like to do and like I said I'll probably be wearing a lot more head wraps so far I've only worn a head wrap once and that was just because I did I wanted to not add gel to my edges that day and to me a head wrap is a perfect way to preserve your edges without you adding all those gels and edge control because it just gets gunky and I just don't I don't like gunky I don't so I try to gel my edges like every other day I don't it gel and you know like yeah I just don't have to be laid every single day like give them a break as well so I that's my way of giving my my edges a break when wearing braids is by putting on a wrap so I'll be doing a lot more wrap or buns and updos and stuff because the twists are starting to get just a little bit frizzy but it's nothing that you know like even if I wore back box braids I'll be having the same problem so definitely nothing unexpected nothing that would cause me to you know like want to pull my hair out they were it was a very minimum hairstyle and it did exactly what I needed to do keep me out of my hair for at least three weeks but let me know what y'all think I should try out as my next protective style I would love to get to know what y'all think I should try what products I could try for my twist out let me know in the comments below because we would love to hear feedback from everyone and I also want to give out another shout out to our first 100 subscribers thank you so much y'all are awesome and continue to stay tuned because more is always to come so I also wanted to mention that um, I have, as you can see, I have a new backdrop going on. I am trying out my DSLR camera um, before I was recording on my cell phone. So we're going to see. Like I'm slowly making upgrades to make this a better experience for everyone. I'm working on getting a mic. I'm working on my lighting. And I'm even working on my speech and talking in front of the camera and trying to get more comfortable with opening up to everyone. So be patient with me. I'm getting there. I've been getting some great feedback from my support team and others and some great constructive criticism. You know, I want to keep everyone engaged. Age. so let me know what y'all think let me know what y'all think of the background I know it's wrinkled I know I know I'm working on it I'm gonna get me a steamer and iron this bad boy out eventually a slow upgrade slow upgrades I can't do it all overnight let me know what you think of the lighting I want to try to go for a more natural light and I hope this works for you guys that you're able to see everything um, my support team wants me to do more makeup tutorials and that's to come as well and yeah, so just stay tuned. We have so much more in store. Let me know if y'all have any questions about me. Get to know me more. Of course, you can follow me on Facebook as well, Pom Pom Sisters. Go ahead and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell to get those notifications whenever we upload. And just come on and join the Pom Pom Gang. Just, just come on and join us. Like. We're, we're awesome and we upload at least twice a week my usual days are Sunday and Wednesday do not hold me to those I'm gonna try my best to aim for Sunday and Wednesday but I have kids and a husband and you know sometimes life just happens so don't get upset with me if I don't upload on those days but that those are my targeted days Sundays and Wednesday and if I miss a Sunday it'll be a Monday and if I miss a Wednesday it'll be a Thursday but always stay tuned because we are uploading weekly and thank you guys again for subscribing for our 100 subscribers the girls were so excited to hear the good news and continue to stay tuned because there's always more to come thank you